All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are out catfishing tonight, and we're still in North Carolina, and we're gonna do a little video on how we catch catfish. We're still at the Wunker Lodge in Hertford, North Carolina, and it's a perfect place on this little inlet to catch some catfish. Now, we already did one video on it, and we caught several white cats and bullheads, and we struggled a little bit with our identification of the different species we were catching. We're from out of state, so you never know what you're gonna catch, and we kinda had to look some things up, but they're definitely white cats and definitely big bullheads. So the plan tonight is to catch a bunch, and we're gonna go through a little bit on what we use in our equipment, our setups, and our baits, and we'll just kind of give you guys a quick rundown on what we use. First off, we got our camera equipment. We got all our GoPros. We got a bunch of family out here. They're going to have some fun catching some. Okay, so we are on a little point here. And we got the rods set up here. We got these nice rod holders on some of the chairs, which works awesome. We got our rods out. These rods are actually my ocean fishing rods, but they got a real good backbone to them. And some are eight foot, some are seven and a half, I believe. And then we got a few bass rods we're also using. So some real easy setups we get on here. This has braid and then a few others just have some high pound mono on them. This rod is a Mako ocean fishing rod. It's an eight footer, but it's perfect with the heavy backbone for doing this. So the tackle we use, I like to use the sliding egg sinker and I usually put it about eight inches or so above the circle hook or J hook, depending on uh, the setup on that specific rod. And bait, we have chicken livers, which is what this one is. We also use night crawlers. And we went over to the local food lion down here and we picked up chicken livers and some night crawlers that we had. So these, I will say, we used these the last few days and you definitely wanna keep these on the frozen side because chicken livers tend to be very soft, very mushy. So definitely put them in the freezer, let them freeze up a little bit. If you don't have those, night crawlers, just basic thick night crawlers are a very good option to have. And we put on about a full or half of a night crawler on the pole. And the basic setup I have, guys, I kind of lay down on the table real quick. Got my tackle box with all my lures. And one thing we always use are these bells. They're very cheap, but very effective. They clip right on the end of the rod. And they're awesome. I got a bunch of assortment of different weights, hooks, things like that to kind of put on if we need them different spare hooks over here, different setups. And you wanna make sure you definitely have some good pliers. And I like the long pliers to get down in and to get the hooks out. Latex gloves to put these on, that's a must. Those stink and you don't want your hands to stink. Here's the bells guys. We stick them right on the tips of the rods. Right about up about six, eight inches from the tip. It's really not imperative where it is on there. But what we do is we throw the rods out and we'll reel in the tension so the line is nice and taut, just like that. And that way, anything that hits it, the slightest bump on it will set those bells off. So everybody has a different setup on how they do catfishing, but this is ours. This is how we do it, and it's very, very effective, as we'll show you guys this evening. We're planning on staying out till it gets dark. So we'll kind of show you guys how we do it and uh, hopefully catch a few. I'm Are you excited? I am. I'm very excited. Colton came down, and we're starting to get hits on this white one here. He wants to grab it, see if he can catch one. You ready? Yeah. All right. Let's awesome. see if you can get one. See if he'll come back and grab it. There he is. He just hit it again. You ready, buddy? You going to get him? Okay guys, I just had a big bite on this one, but there's no luck yet. <laughs> Nothing much right now, but I did get two bites so far on that one. Um, I just read the minute I found out that there's nothing on it, and now I just found out that there's nothing on it, so I just put 
they're all real casted off some um chicken some chicken livers so yeah uh i'll see you guys when i catch the fish obviously i'm gonna catch the fish but... did you miss them yeah <laughs> let's just put it back in see if we can get them okay give me a few more minutes got, it. <laughs> got him buddy mm -hmm. all right colton's got a big one on that one smacked the rod hard. He's fighting a good one now. Oh, he's swimming right at us now. What do you got, bud? Yeah, keep him this way. <laughs> See if you can bring him back over here. It's a big cat. Oh, nice one, buddy. Big one. Oh, man. Nice one, buddy. Fun or what? Yeah. Wow, he's yeah. heavy. That's a big one. It's a uh, female. She's full of roe. She's full of eggs. Cause she's uh, Oh, she's got a chunk missing out of her lip. This is probably one that already came through and hit that one before. But look at that one. Yeah. That's a nice, big, fat one. Awesome. All right, I'll get this hook out of her here. We got these nice hooks. They're kind of in between a circle hook and a J hook. And they just hook the fish real good in the corner of the mouth there. So... That's a nice, big, chunky girl right there. Get her back in the water. Good job, buddy. <laughs> That's a nice one. Her little cut. Oh, she's gonna flip on me here. Yeah, she's okay. mad, she's got eggs. She said, get let me go. Back. So, all right. Oh, let's get her back in. She knows where the water is. Oh, it's a good one. Nice. That's a good one. Great, Riley. It's a big one. Back up, back up. Very nice. nice. You excited? <laughs> <laughs> That's a big cat. Nice one. Look at that one. It's a real good one. Wow. Nice big one. He's playing with it. Go for it, babe. I know you want to catch this fish, don't you? I do. I really do. <laughs> yep. She's got him. Are you sure? You? If this is another turtle, I quit. <laughs> oh, it was light taps, so you never know. But it's a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Are you kidding me? It's a turtle. Okay, bring him over, and I'll get the pliers and. Go slow with him. Go slow. Oh my gosh, she's got a huge turtle. Why does this? Why do you keep catching turtles? <laughs> oh, he's a huge. Oh my goodness, snapper. Dave! That's watch okay. His fingers. He's a monster. Look at this. <laughs> oh, honey, he's gonna bite you. Well, it'll be good for you too. Off. Got it. No, it's probably still on. Okay. It's tricky. It's on, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. It looks All right, like guys, we got the. The hook's a little bent, but we got it out of the huge <laughs> snapping turtle's mouth. He's the third turtle. He's not hurt. He's unharmed. He's going home. So, good job, babe. I thought we were going to have turtle soup, Dave. <laughs> There's something about Heather. She just keeps catching these snapping the turtles. Catch and kick. Turtle so, soup. It, Seriously, it, no one else has caught turtles. We could tell that was a turtle, though, because it was just little. Yeah, it didn't, yeah. like, take it and run. It was, like, the little, um, he was eating it. He was, like, poking at it, and then he grabbed it. Oh, good you job. Thanks, babe. That's a fish. He's swimming good. Huh? Nice. Good. Ooh wee! Yay! Ewan, nice. it's going crazy. Good bullhead. Wow. Yeah, that didn't take long at all. I'm already catching him. Nice. <laughs> oh, <it's a> no. <laughs> Oh, it's 
Got him, buddy? Yeah. Oh, we got another good one on. Oh, that's another huge that one got hit too. bullhead. Yeah, bring him in. Bring him in. I'll pull him up. Oh, nice one. Woo. Buddy. That's another huge one. Nice job. <laughs> Look at that one. Two out of eight. We missed a few, but we got a few good ones too. Awesome. Feels so good. Good job. Man, I didn't even see the rod tip. Did you hear the bells or something? Yeah, I just heard it bump. Okay, cool. I was yep. talking on the phone, not even paying attention. He's got a real nice oh, big one. That one's going too. So, all right, we'll get this fish unhooked. Got the good set of pliers just to pop this hook out and kind of show you guys a hook that we're using too. Just like that. So, another real nice big one. And this is the hook I was kind of talking about earlier. So, it's in between a J hook and a circle hook. It's just got a real nice bend in it, and it definitely hooks them just right in the corner of the mouth. So, that's another real nice one, buddy. Good mm -hmm. job. Good job on that one. Let's get them back in the water here. She's gone. Good job. It popped off. Yay! Good. All right. That was yeah. a huge turtle. I think we had a turtle munching on this one. We definitely did. Real slow. You can tell the turtle's pulling on it when it's a real slow tug. It's not like a fish is grabbing it and running with it and the rod's bending a bunch of times. It's a real slow tug, and that's what happened on this one. So, Okay, took our bait, stripped us. Just missed another one. <laughs> <laughs> Colton's got one bump in this green one over here. Got him. Get him? Uh oh. Turtle. You got a turtle. Is it just dead oh, weight? Yeah. It's a turtle. turtle. Dead it's weight? A turtle. Yeah, it's a turtle. Okay, why don't you reel it? Is it heavy? Yeah, it's actually really heavy. Okay. That's a huge snapping turtle, buddy. Huge snapping turtle. That's We're trying to catch catfish, not snapping turtles. He came up to the top a minute ago. He was huge. Just bring him right over here. Tire him down. Oh, for a second. There he is. Oh! Oh my God. Dave, they're getting bigger. It's in the foot, I think. Yeah, it's in the leg. Yeah. All right. Got another one on, guys. Getting hard to see here. There we go. That one hit right about the same time. Another good one. Finally starting to get a few. It was probably a good half hour. We didn't get any bites. Kind of wondering what was going on and all of a sudden picking up a couple here. All the same tonight. No, uh, no white cats or any other kind of breeds. No other kind of species. Just these bullheads. All right. Awesome. Another one. Cool. This is fun. Get him back in the water. Nice. You see it? It's pretty yeah. dark. Yeah, it's getting dark, guys, but we got one more around here. Just hit at the last minute here and try to get him up. Feels like a halfway decent size when you're swimming under the dock right now. Yeah, that's a good one. Barely hooked. One. Good one. Another big bullhead. Awesome. Getting hard, hard to see now because of the light. It's pretty dark. Almost 9 o'clock. So that's a nice big one. Real good fish. Alright guys, I think that's going to be our last fish for the night. We got to get in and get packing. We got to leave in the morning. So that's a real nice, decent sized bullhead there. We're going to get him back in the water. Cool. All right, guys, we had to call it. It got pretty late and the uh, cameras weren't picking up the lights anymore. And we ended up catching about 10 or 11. I think we had four or five that weren't even on camera. It just got so dark. So uh, we had a lot of fun. The kids had a lot of fun. Uh, several of the kids got to reel in a few of them. So it was a really good time. This place is absolutely perfect for catfishing. So 
Uh, check it out. Two guys on Airbnb. It's the Wunker Lodge and the hosts, Gary and Carol, were just awesome to us. Very accommodating place. It was a lot of fun, so definitely check that out. Also, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments on our catfishing setups and how we catch them. That's just how we do it. I know a lot of people do it different ways, but that's our way. So let me know what you think, guys. So, all right. Thanks for watching.